will proceed in innovative approach in calculus. We are demystifying find Lagrange multiplier. Lagrange multiplier that we consider that it is not the proper way to find maxima and minima. Maxima and minima, proper way to find maxima and minima is to do the is to do the derivative. Calculate the derivative and then you get the equate it to zero and you get the maxima and minimum. But as per as per Mr. Lagrange, he is saying that if you find if you need to find maxima and minima, then it's all right. You can do dy by dx, but for 3D means this situation arising for the 3D. If I have a algebraic equation in x and y in x and y means there are two independent component x and y like someone has to find maximization maximization for an algebraic equation x minus 1 whole square plus x minus y minus 2 whole square there is algebraic equation x braces braces x minus 1 braces close whole square plus braces y minus 2 braces close whole square. This is the algebraic equation and someone has to find the maximization of this algebraic equation, maximization for this algebraic equation where the constraint region, I am not talking about the constraint line, constraint line we have seen past video. So constant region is x square plus y square less than equal to 45, 45. This is famous example. x square plus y square less than equal to 45. This is the constraint region. x square plus y square equal to 45. This is the circumference of a circle. This is a constraint line. x square plus y square less than equal to 45 is a constraint region okay against this constant in constant reason someone has to find maximum value for x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square what someone is talking what is the implication what is the reality in the life how it hits in real life that we have talked in company productivity Company productivity is x to the power 2 by 3, y to the power 1 by 3. That is the productivity of a company. Where x is net amount of a product A. There, is, there are two raw material. There are two raw material. Processing these two raw material, company is manufacturing a product that it is selling in the market. Now, for one raw material, the net quantity is x. For other raw material, net quantity is y. If that is the case, then productivity in the company is x to the power 2 by 3 into y to the power 1 by 3. Means productivity is more dependent upon x. Okay. When productivity would be maximum. In a sense that there is a constraint in buying the raw material. x is the amount of a raw material. A, one raw material. B, Y is the amount of another raw material. Company is purchasing raw material and there is a price constraint. If, if X is the net amount of a raw material, per unit of that raw material cost alpha dollar. Per unit of that another raw material cost beta dollar. <coughs> if that is the case, then alpha into X plus beta into Y is the net cost of the raw material. It must be less than equal to some amount. We had given 3, 3 million or 3000 dollar whatever. Alpha x plus beta y less than equal to 3. If alpha and beta per unit price for the one item and per unit price for the second raw material is 1, then x plus y less than equal to 3. Now, I am reiterating this, this just the kind of uh, header of the example. And not going the solution. Then this is a real life example. Productivity of one one. There are two raw material processing these two raw material. A 
company is manufacturing a product and one raw material is in x amount x item or x kg whatever it is in x amount another raw material is in y amount first raw material cost alpha dollar per unit for the and another material cost beta dollar per unit the net purchase net purchasing cost for the raw material is alpha x plus beta y less than equal to whatever the alpha x plus beta y the next expenditure buying the raw material now company has limitation that it cannot go buying the raw material to some, some limit that is three three thousand dollars consider it is three thousand dollars it is a small company alpha into x plus beta into y less than equal to three so one is called one is called the productivity product with productivity algebraic equation that is x to the power 2 by 3 y to the power 1 by 3 the productivity equation this is a 3d graph where x and y are two independent components and z f x y is the productivity okay so when x is 0 y is 0 then z is 0 when x is greater than 0 y is greater than 0 then x then productivity starts growing okay in that sense it does not have any local maxima local minima is there but it does not have any local maxima if it does not have any local maxima then certainly it is keep on growing now the, the question is arising that if there is a constant reason that's why i am saying this is not constant line this is constant reason x plus y less than equal to 3 if x plus y equal to 3 means along the line x plus y equal to in mathematics after all things comes in line and curve only so but for company it's uh, their expenditure sentiments is there with this equation but here it will come as a mere line in mathematics x plus y less than equal to 3 if this is x axis this is y axis then this is x plus y equal to 3 line x axis y axis then this line is x plus x plus y equal to 3 it intercept x axis at 3 comma 0 y axis at 0 comma 3 now if this is x plus y equal to 3 then below this toward the origin if this is the origin this is x plus y less than equal to 3 this reason what we are saying this reason is the reason for the selection of x and y x and y x plus y less than equal to 3 x plus y less than equal to 3 that reason means if i am drawing a graph and this is x y plane if this is x y plane this is x axis this is y axis this is z axis if that is the case if this is x y plane i can pick x comma y x comma y from anywhere in the x y plane no you cannot choose x and y anywhere from the x y plane you have to choose x and y only in the region that is x plus y less than equal to 3 to our center whatever the reason is there if this is the line and this is x axis and this is y axis and this is x plus y equal to 3 line below that till the origin whatever region comes you have to put x comma y from that region only that is a constraint then only company would work so what is the productivity what is the productivity surface it is a surface right at the end z f x y or z equal to x to the power 2 by 3 y to the power 1 by 3 it is a 3d graph but this so this is x y plane if this is this is x y plane and this is the surface where the equation of the surface if i take any point on the x y plane x comma y x comma y x comma y x comma x comma y it results in one some z value everywhere if i connect all the z value points it forms a surface that is productivity surface 3d surface x to the power 2 by 3 into y to the power 1 by 3 if that is the case if that is the case then it is the it, if that is the surface then we have to find when this surface will be maximum because surface is it, it can surface typical example of the surface is mountain one point it is mount everest other point it will go and it will form a valley okay then again climb up and then it will make 
another mountain k2 so then again it will make a valley so it is 3d right so we are looking for the point where it is maxima the mountain peaks are there but here there is no peak in a sense that this graph keep on growing beyond the origin if it keep on growing very right very all right but for all the x comma y we take this is x axis this is y axis this is x axis this is y axis this is origin okay this is x axis this is y axis now if i take x positive y positive then full first quadrant comes into the picture in first quadrant there is a limit x plus y equal to 3 x axis y axis then this is x plus y equal to 3 below this and up to origin whatever the reason is coming in that reason only i have to pick x and y in that reason if i pick x and y then then there is a 3d surface x to the power 2 by 3 y to the power 1 by 3 in that reason what is the highest value of x to the power 2 by 3 and y to the power 1 by 3 that is the question so if someone is looking in mathematics it is it is nice to analyze the problem and draw the graph or imagine it if three it is 3d first imagine it that's why this is the way of our train our uh, kind of uh, video means if i i cannot draw in one line or two like three the best way to demonstrate 3d is to show the shapes in 3d 3d drawing is very difficult it takes a lot of time unnecessary so the situation is what is maximization and minimization we are talking we are talking maximization minimization in 3d in 3d maximization minimization where i have set up xy point on the xy plane again this set of xy point i draw z in that z which z is maximum this is what i am trying to find out if it is a reason x plus y less than equal to 3 means there is a reason if i say x plus y equal to 3 then if this is x axis this is y axis and this is x plus y equal to 3 then on this line okay so if this is x y plane if this is x y plane x axis y axis z axis if this is x y plane i i draw x this is x axis this is y axis i draw a line x plus y equal to 3 then if it is if the constraint is x plus y equal to 3 then on top of this line i take all the points x y on this line only and this x y point will go up and it will make a intersection on the surface as a curve in that curve which point is the maximum height that is maximization but if i take x plus y less than equal to 3 means if this is the line x plus y less than equal to x plus y equal to 3 in x y plane then this line and below this line up to origin there is a region if i take all the x x comma y in that in that region and against that region if i go up and hit the surface that is x to the power 2 by 3 into y to the power 1 by 3 which height would be the maximum this is region one is upon the line whatever the question is so that is the maximization minimization maximization minimization against a reason maximization minimization against a line this is what we are looking maximization minimization if it is 2d we are talking about three dimension if it two dimension maximize where y equal to fx here z equal to fx y if y equal to fx is there then maximization minimization we try to find with respect to x axis only that's why we say dy by dx if we do dy by dx if we do dy by dx and equal to zero we try to find maximum value for any particular x where y would reach maximum then dy by dx dx would be zero so lagrange fundamentals are different we have talked i believe in detail about the lagrange but our concept is that if this is the case then let's go through the traditional way of algebra dy by dx equal to 0 okay now if someone is saying x minus now what is the graph now the gra earlier the graph productivity graph was x to the power 2 by 3 into y to the power 1 by 3 constraint was x plus y less than equal to 3 now it is understandable that what is the 3d graph and what is the constraint 
Now in our new example, we have x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square. That is the graph. Z equal to x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square. This proves that there is a xy plane. There is a xy plane and for each, each x comma y, there is a height in the height that is z. If this is xy plane, again each, each x comma y in the xy plane, there is a z value. If I connect all the z value, it forms a surface. That surface equation is x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square. Okay. When this means, probably, I don't know, if x is, if x is 0 and y is 0, then it is 1 square plus 2 square. It will be 5 value. But when x is 1, when x is 1 and y is 2, at that moment it is 0. So probably it is, it has local minima at x equal to 1 and y equal to 2. After that, it, if I, if I keep increasing x and y beyond that, then it will keep growing only. If I start decreasing x and y, it will again increase because it is x square y square. Okay, that is the way. I don't know. Probably it may go for local maxima minima. I don't know. So, if this is 3D plane, if this is xy plane, this is x axis, this is y axis, this is z axis. If this is xy plane, if I take so many xy point, I get a z value accordingly. If I take x comma y point that is 1 comma 2, then z value is 0. Otherwise, it has some height. Now, the question is where the height is maximum, that is maximization. Where the height is maximum, okay. Now, when x is infinity, y is infinity, then it is maximum. Because x minus 1 whole square, y minus 2 whole square, it is maximum. No. The question arises is that x and y I have to pick from a constraint only. That constraint is x square plus y square less than equal to 45. Okay. It looks like a circular reason whose radius is a square root of 45. If I draw a circle, if I draw a circle in xy plane, if this is xy plane, I draw a circle on xy plane that is centered at the origin and has radius of square root of 45, then I have to pick, pick in the algebraic equation x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square the x and y value that I have to choose on the xy plane, it must be in this circle only or along the circumference. That's it. I cannot go beyond it. Not required. Not, no one is interested. So, everyone is interested in the x and y points that is, that is constrained in this circular region. x square plus y square less than equal to 45. If x square plus y square equal to 45, then someone is interested only in the circumference of the circle line, the circular line. So, if this is xy plane, then there is a surface on top of it whose equation is x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square. On the xy plane, if I have a circle radius square root of 45, then if constraint is x square plus y square equal to 45, then along the circumference of the circle, someone takes the z value that will hit the surface on a, like a curve. If I, someone takes the, all the height of the curve at every point where it is maximum, that is a constraint, but not. Here constraint is x square plus y square less than equal to 45. If that is the case, then if this is the xy plane, there is a circle of radius of square root of 45. Then I have to take all the x comma y that falls in this region, including less than equal to 45. Then full circular region on the xy plane which has radius square root of 45 including the serpent means that much x and y I have to pick against those x and y against the x and y in that region I have to take all the z value that hit the surface x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square. If it hit the surface then there also on the surface it makes a area region. In that area region, which z is the maximum? This is what we are trying to find. Maximization, minimization. Okay. Now, let's forget. Till now, we were doing through the traditional algebraic way, but we are drawing the contour. This is what Lagrange is saying. So, I tried that things should come up 
touching the Lagrange so that people will feel that something better is coming up. Now we don't need Lagrange at all. We don't need contour at all. We can do directly. Means calculus is that much mature. Now if that is the case, I have z value, fx y value, x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square. This is the z value and I, I am trying to, this is the equation and I am trying to find maximization. If someone need to find maximization, minimization for this z value, how someone can find dz by dx equal to 0, dz by dy equal to 0. Now, if someone said dz by dx equal to 0, that will be 2x minus 1. dz by dy equal to 0, that is 2y minus 2. If someone set it to 0, he gets x and y value. And at those set of x and y value, at those x and y value, there is a extreme point, minimization, maximization. This is the way to find in 3D. But here, I have a constraint reason, constraint line. So, rather than I would say, so someone can try to find out what it is. Let's try 2, 2 x minus 1 equal to 0. Then it is x equal to 1. 2 y minus 2 equal to 0, y equal to 2. So, this proves that x means how it happens, how it happens is that uh, how we find maximization, minimization to dz by dx, dz by dy. We will talk probably in next session where we talk about four dimension. <laughs> this is three dimension. We will not stop. Oh, thank you. This is not a stop at three, di three dimension. Okay. So, with four di three dimension. Now, if this is the, consider the graph we are drawing is like this. Is like this. Dz by dx, this is x axis and this is y axis. This is x axis. This is y axis, this is z axis. This sphere is centered at the origin. At that point, if I at any point P where coordinate is x comma y comma z, if I say dp by dx, dz by dx, dz by dx, then we are talking about xz plane. In xz plane, I cut, I cut it into xz plane. Okay, or I'll take the bigger one. Okay, I have really very big one. Okay, this is really very big one. So, this is x axis, this is x axis, this is y axis and this is z axis. Now, if I cut it in x, this, this way if I cut it, then it is x z plane. If I cut it this way, then this is y z plane. Now, in x z plane, in x z plane, this is the height. If it is centered at the origin, then this is the height of the surface. Can you see? This is the height of the surface. This is the way that if someone draw, if someone take x and y, so many x comma y and draw z and connect all the z point, it becomes like this. Okay, that is some equation. I don't know. This is not x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square. Some equation. Then if I cut it in xz plane, then this is the z. This is how z is varying. Now, how z would vary? at any point x, if I make one unit change in the x, understandable, right? So, if this is xz plane, then if I take any point x on the x axis, at that moment, the z, I have some z value. Like, here z value is less, z value is growing, then less, then again growing. Or if I take like this, xz plane, then z value is maximum at the origin only. Then z value is keep on decreasing. Here, negative x-axis keep on decreasing, like this. Or if I take in this fashion, then z value is up, then little bit going down, then up and then going down as we go in x-axis. At any point x, there is a z value. If I take one unit change in the x, then how many unit of change I see in z, dz by dx. At that moment, so at that in xz plane, if I calculate dz by dx and set it to 0, at that moment, whatever x value comes, this shows that there, there is no change in dz. dz by dx equal to 0 means at that moment, one unit change along x axis brings no unit of change in z. Means there, there is either maximum or minimum. So, dz by dx 
talks about tangent at that point. So if I can, if this is centered at the origin, then this, this has some x value, this is z value. dz by dx, dx talks about the tangent at any point in the xz plane. If I cut in, cut xz, then tangent at any point in xz plane. If I cut in yz, then dz by dy talks about tangent at any point in yz plane. dz by dx equal to 0 means at that moment tangent, the tangent is parallel to the x-axis. dz by dy equal to 0, tangent is parallel to the y-axis. If that is the case, then at any point where tangent is parallel to x-axis also, tangent is parallel to y-axis also, this proves that that point is a peak point along the xy plane, along the xy plane, like mountainous peak. Mountainous peak, if someone reaches the mountain peak, then dz by dx is 0, dz by dy is 0, or if I say dz by dx equal to 0 and dz by dy equal to 0, then I get minimum or maximum. Either I get the valley, valley deepest point, or I get the mountain highest point, because both places, it will be 0. This is what the technology we will use in this formula also. Now I have a, but here dz by dx, dz by dy are called normal differentiation or partial differentiation. But we don't want along x-axis, max. A, a, we don't want maximization along x-axis. This is what we are trying to do. We don't want maximization along y-axis. We want maximization along certain line. That is, that is x square plus y square less than or equal to 45. First, let's go with this. Then x equal to 1 and y equal to 2 is the, is the extreme point. With there, at that point, it is 0. Means we, we want maximum, not the minimum. That is the only point where it has extreme point. x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square dz by dx equal to 0. dz by dy equal to 0. Means x equal to 1, y equal to 2, x comma y equal to 1 comma 2. At that point, at that point, it has minimum value. What about maximum? So at from point 1 comma 2, anything beyond it, it is rising. But in the reason x square plus y square less than or equal to 45, what is the maximum value? This is what we are trying to find. So through normal calculus, dz by dx, dz by dy, I could find the local minima point. What about maxima point? Now, we know one thing for sure, when it is minima at x, y, 1, comma t, beyond that it is keep on growing only. If that is the case, then at the line x square plus y square equal to 45, on that line somewhere it will be maximum, that is guaranteed. Okay, beyond that I am not interested. And below that, I am not interested because if you keep on growing only. Well, so at the circumference x square plus y square equal to 45, now it is guaranteed that it will be maximum. Let's try to find the maximization, minimization on this line, along this line. This is called, typically called directional derivative along a line, along a vector. But here there is no vector. Vector means a straight line. That is the vector. This, this is a circular line. This is called vector field, algebraic vector. Algebraic vector means every point on the circle, there is a vector. Okay. So, if I take, if I take a circle, if I take circle and I call it, a, uh, if I call it as a vector field, every point on the circle, there is a vector. It is a, it is a bunch of vector. Actually, it is a bunch of vector. Okay where at each point there is a vector. Okay, what is that vector? Again, that vector will be in equation of algebra only. Changing x and y will give new static vector. So, vector field is, not, is nothing but algebraic vector. I have to find algebraic vector representation of this circuit. So, that any moment if I have a vector, then quickly I can find the directional derivative along the vector. If I have algebraic equation g, and I am trying to find directional derivative along vector u, then gradient of gradient vector of g dot unit vector of u gives the directional derivative along vector u. This is already invented. So we will use that only. Now that the, the most difficult part comes is what is the now here no Lagrange cannot lie at all. Because Lagrange talks about the 
the contour line every contour cut it and make a contour not right there we are completely now dissociating with lagrange completely we are now completely into traditional calculus now the vector field these things lagrange do not talk vector field and algebraic vector nothing so now in the vector field x square plus y square equal to 45 now this vector field what would be if that is the equation of a circle then what would be the vector equation vector field equation at every point that is the big question now what is the if i take any point here x comma y what is the position vector of x comma y x i plus y j if i differentiate this x i plus y j i get the gradient vector i get the gradient vector or gradient of this vector this is better word gradient of this vector that will be perpendicular to the position vector this vector we are looking to. So now I have any point on circle x i plus y j, x i plus y j, where y equal to square root of 45 minus x square. If that is the case, then our point is x i plus square root of 45 minus x square j. Now I have to find gradient of this because if if this is x comma y is the any point on the circle. The, it is centered at the origin, then this is the position vector. If I calculate the gradient of this position vector, it gives me the gradient of the position vector, which is tangential vector. This is what we are looking for, the tangential vector. That is the actual representation of the vector form for this curve. So, that will be now, if I differentiate, it becomes i. This, uh, this is our way of calculating, very perfect. And as per the in synchronization with the with the in synergy with the with the uh, actual calculus not any bringing lambda lambda term or whatever please do support us plus 91 is the india country code 94831606106108316010 94831606106110 is the india is the telephone number plus 91 is the country code now we will differentiate it it will become i i minus x by square root of 45 minus x square j that is nothing but i minus x y y j i minus x y y j this is the actual this is a vector field because its components are algebraic now now every moment x and y keep changing the vector will keep changing. This is now, now to find the maximization, minimization of the graph x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square. First, I have to calculate gradient vector of this. That is nothing but 2 x minus 1 j i plus 2 y minus 2 y minus 2 j. This is the gradient vector dot unit vector of i minus x y y j that is i minus x y y j divided by square root of 1 plus x square plus y square square root of 1 square plus x square plus x square by y square now if i do dot with these two and equate it to zero then this denominator will go away now the gradient vector for this algebraic equation is 2 into x minus 1 i plus 2 y minus 2 j dot product with i my i minus x y y j denominator will go away. now this equal to 0 now this will come as 2 x minus 1 into 1 so 2 x minus 1 2 x minus 1 equal to 0 this is one formula and another formula another formula is 2 y minus 2 2 y minus 2 2y minus 2, okay, 2y minus 2 into, I am sorry, I will rephrase it, okay, dot product of these two vectors should be 0. So, first part is 2x minus 1 plus, plus 2, 2x minus 1 plus 2y minus 2 into minus xyy equal to 0. So, 2, 2 went gone now x minus 1 equal to y minus 2 into x y y 
Now y would come this side x into y minus y x into y minus y equal to y y minus 2 into x. So x into y minus 2x x y x y gone minus y equal to minus 2x y equal to 2x okay so this this maximization man, minimization i believe i am all right so this side y and that side 2x so y equal to 2x this is the but can you see this maximization minimization we, we got to directional derivative along a vector but it is again in an algebraic term this is not a pure value we are getting it is a relationship that is y equal to 2x if y equal to 2x and we are concerned about the reason x square plus y square less than or equal to 45 let's put there x square plus 4 square y square equal to 2 y equal to 2x then x square plus 4 square that is 5x square equal to 45 x square equal to 9 x equal to plus minus 3 x equal to plus minus 3 so on the circumference maximum value would reach where the x equal to plus minus 3 if this is a circle and this is x y x axis y axis and this has radius a square root of 45 then at point x equal to 3 at point x equal to 3 this is less than the red full radius there there x equal to 3 there it sees y here and you see y here then x equal to minus 3 it see y here here at this point it will see maximum or minimum now someone has to set in x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square there someone has to set where x equal to plus 3 and x equal to minus 3 according to x plus 3 y equal to 2x y will be 6 x equal to minus 3 y will be minus 6 now someone has to set x equal to 3 y equal to 6 y equal to 6 in x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square let's try i mean x x equal to 3 then it will become 4 and y equal to 6 for 16 it will be 20 now minus 3 if x is minus 3 then it will become minus 3 minus 1 4 minus 4 square then 16 and minus 6 and minus 1 7 minus 7 14 this is the maximum so at minus 3 minus 3 minus 3 and minus 6 looks like it attains the maximum someone is free to calculate through Lagrange way also so Lagrange way says that you have to calculate gradient when draw a contour and then calculate the gradient of both of them and equate through lambda so it will come as 2x minus 1 i plus 2y minus 2j equal to lambda 2xi plus 2yj okay if that is the case then 2x minus 1 by 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 2x equal to 2y minus 2 by 2y 2 2 gone and then x minus 1 by x equal to y minus 2 by y okay so now if i say put this side this side then it will come the same as minus y equal to minus 2x y equal to 2x same thing okay but we don't need to draw kind of uh, contour and then then try to uh, prove something that how it can be it is better we take through zero fundamental one the only problem is we have to calculate the gradient vector we have to calculate the gradient of the position vector and then we have to do partial we have to do directional derivative along a vector but this is the actual way in calculus that if you need to find maximization minimization then you have to derive it and set it to zero but only thing is derivation we cannot do along x axis along y axis because we don't need along x axis along y axis we need maximization minimization along a particular constraint line so maximization minimization derivative has to be again that particular constraint line so line we change it into vector form and then i can get directional derivative along the vector setting it to zero 
give the result. We will try to do it in a kind of four dimension also and then we will move to another a topic I believe that will be Tyler series. There will also we have done innovative approach to find the Tyler series, Tyler polynomial expansion. Okay, we have done so many invention in calculus. So this is the invention we have done and then we will move on. Please do support us. Plus 91 is the India country code 94831606110.